Steam Powered Classrooms book review vlog series. Today I'm going to talk all about chemistry. This is one of my favorite subjects to do with my kids and there are so many great resources out there to help you study chemistry in the periodic table and I can't wait to show those to you today. We're going to start off with one. It's not a new title. This is a little bit of an older title. It's by Williamson Kids Can and it's called Fizz, Bubble and Flash, Element Explorations and Atom Adventures for Hands-On Science Fun by Anita Brandolini. And um, this one is gonna be a little bit trickier for you guys to find. Unfortunately, a lot, of these, a lot of the books from this publishing company aren't in print anymore. But you can still find it and it's worth the, it's worth the hunt. Um, because one of the things I like about this one is it really does go through the periodic table methodically. And it groups, uh, it groups the different sections of the periodic table, then goes through each element. And um, when it introduces it, these books all have a great, uh, a great method of giving you information, making it very readable for any age kid, and then giving you some great activities to do to then, you know, to, so you can have hands-on as well. Uh, so I, I really like the Williamson Kids Can books, and I would use this as kind of the framework of my larger chemistry study. So it's your textbook, I guess, for the unit. This one's called What's Chemistry All About? And it's by Usborne, the publishing company. And uh, there's a whole series of these too. There's what's biology all about and there's what's physics all about as well. They are happy little books. They have more information perhaps than the Williamson Kids Can books. Um, for slightly older, I'd say upper elementary, middle school. And so it's for more information. But I would assign, uh, I would assign chapters out of this to my kids to read on their own to kind of bring information to the table as we were moving forward. So I like that series. This one is by Basher, The Periodic Table, Elements with Style. And Basher also has quite a large series, extensive series of, of science books especially. He's branching out into some other things as well. But he's all manga. So it doesn't always work with some of the books that he writes, but The Periodic Table is perfect for his style because each page is almost like a trading card game. So for your Pokemon fans out there, your Magic the Gathering fans, this is perfect kind of a book. It gives you a, a very manga styled image of the element and what it's used for and then gives you information almost as if you would find on a trading card in a trading card game. So this one again, with this would be fun to throw in the back of the car. Just let your, um, let your kids explore it as they want to and you might be surprised how many things they remember from it. And then I have three other books. This one's called How to Make a Universe with 92 Ingredients, An Electrifying Guide to the Elements. This one's a DK book, and I'm a huge fan of DK books. This is by Adrienne Dingle. And um, yeah, it's just colorful. It's colorful, it's fun, the kids are gonna wanna read it. So again, this is a great car ride book. I love to put books in my car, if you didn't notice that. Um, but this would be a nice one to, to recommend as well to your kids. And an older one, also by DK, and one that I like even better than that one, is this series by The Brainwaves. And this one's called The Most Explosive Science Book in the Universe by The Brainwaves. This one is chemistry, um, illustrated by Lisa Swirling and Ralph Lazar. And there's a whole series of these on The Brainwaves, too. And this one is fun for your Where's Waldo fans or your I Spy fans because there's so much going on on these pages that the brain waves are little characters, tiny characters, there's a bazillion of them, and they all have quirky personalities that you can kind of watch unfold. I'm gonna see, there's a periodic table in here. I'm not gonna be able to find it now. But it uh, goes through the elements, talks about acids and bases, and this one's an exploration book. This is not one that you can just say, read, you know, read through from this paragraph to this paragraph. If you can see, there's little bits of information all over the page. So it's really great for kids just to explore, just to spend some time with the book instead of saying, go read this book. Just say, here, have fun with that. And there's some great fold out leaves in here as well. Um, fun, fun book. And then you guys probably already know about this one. This one's The Elements, a visual exploration of every known atom in the universe. And this was published a couple of years ago with huge um, excitement. A lot of people love this book. It got a lot of attention. There's calendars and there's trading card games and there's puzzles and all sorts of stuff with the images from this book. It's a beautiful book and it's more information than the other ones. This one's not specifically a kid's book. This is an adult book. But I mean, really, if you've got a chemistry fan, it doesn't matter what age they are. They're going to get whatever they're going to get out of it. 
it's gorgeous. So something, something to add. And then finally, a video that I am very embarrassed to say I haven't watched yet, but I am really excited to watch it. Hunting the Elements by Nova, it's PBS. A lot of you guys have already seen it, and you're going, I can't believe you, Gwen, how could you not have watched this movie yet, or this documentary yet? And I really don't know, because it's on my hot sheet. But, um, but I, would rec I, I can even recommend this to you unwatched, because I know it's really good, and I've been recommended, it's been recommended to me so many times. So there you go. I hope that gets you started. There's a lot of great internet resources as well in chemistry, and I will share those with you too if you don't know them already. Um, but have fun with chemistry, and I'll see you next time. Thanks.